I got the spillway roughed in. Let's use that sweater. Get it roughed in. We'll come in here with the dozer and the skid steer and grade that out nice and smooth. I just want to get the bulk of the dirt hogged out with the excavator. So I got the spillway cut in. It's around 10 feet wide, uh, flaring out to about 20 with the slopes and everything. Uh, it's set. The, the elevation is set so that when that riser is slammed full, this will kick in. So when that's doing all it can do, this will kick in and this will be equivalent to about maybe a little bit more than what that overflow can take. So it'll be a, an extreme amount of water that would have to rain before this would even kick in. And this will be the emergency. So that when that pipe is slammed full, that'll kick in. For some crazy reason, we get Noah's Ark amount of rain. Um, it'll also come around the other end down there. It's a little bit lower than top of dam, so it'll just kind of sheet drain across that and into the woods. But dug this over here because it was the most original ground, and it'll just dissipate out there into the woods down into the creek channel. So now we're going to start grading some stuff, getting everything dressed up. So it's something that's got to be done. If you want a slope to be stabilized for a while, and that's track it in. It takes a while and it is a little boring. But the end result, other than getting beat to death, is a nice, nice finished tracked in slope. See, I got it all graded out. Now I run up and down it and track it in on the upward pass because that is your grabbing. Uh, it's got traction going up the hill and it'll pack the dirt in better. And then you just kind of ease over and back back down because with the self-cleaning tracks, it'll, it'll bust it all back up if you don't. So you always try to leave your finished product as you drive up the hill. It's all tracked in and what this does is when they come out here and hydro seed all this or seed it or whatever is done the grass seed will fall into all these cleat marks and give it a place for the seed to fall in and start to germinate versus if it was just a freshly slicked up hill like that uh, the water would run down it and the grass seed wouldn't have a kind of a place to lock in so it really just kind of helps lock the slope in and everything and give the grass seed a spot to kind of bed in and, and get established hopefully before you get a big massive rain so i got to finish doing this and we'll continue grading around the pond
this is about two feet higher than the lake down below. You can definitely tell where the end of the pipe is. Got a little flow coming out. <laughs> it's actually, the end of the pipe is like right there, but it's blowing it out another 20 feet. Right. At, oh, I forgot. There's an edge of a bank right there. That's what it's doing. It's blowing up against that. Well, this ought to come up a uh, two or three inches, maybe. Swirling around. <laughs> That'll drain down quickly. So we got good flow on the other side. Just 
just like I thought we would. Water's still going down and boiling out of the ground over here. Still got pretty good flow and it's draining on down pretty good as well. For those who question how much a 24 inch pipe will handle, look at that right there. That is about 20 feet wide and probably a foot deep is how much water. So I think our overflow is adequate along with the spillway. So we're set up to hold at least twice that much flow right there and that's uh i think that's more than adequate for the amount of watershed that is able to flow into here so tim's running over everything i graded out with the dozer just back dragging it and slicking it up makes it look really really good he's doing a great job uh we'll walk down here and i'll show you what else we've done we left this area right here pretty shallow because this is where the beach is going to go. Their house is going to go up there so they wanted like a 120 foot long beach right here. So we'll flag this out, come in here and cut it out a little bit and lay sand out. You can kind of see how we went from deep to shallow right here just so if you're out here you don't jump right off and it's 8 feet deep and got that kind of graded out got our little cove slicked up turned out nice and i'll walk over here and show you the dam got the spillway cut in it's about 10 feet wide at the bottom 
and then it flares up a little bit so it'll hold a good about 18 inches of water we got that cut in then it'll just dissipate out to the woods blends right in up there dam graded out and the back slope is tracked in and it turned out well got it tracked in so it'll be ready to plant and the grass seed should sit in the little cleat marks pretty good it's gonna be nice when it's full probably run over this front edge again and hit a few more of these clods and get them broken up got about six and a half seven more feet to fill up 